Uh, hello friends, uh, friends in this video we are going to discuss structure of atom. Uh, the questions from atomic structure are frequently asked in various competitive exams. A very simple topic you might have learned the structure of atom in your junior classes maybe grade 7, 8, 9, 10. So you must be familiar with the, the topic so it will be uh, just a recap you can say right but uh, the topic is really important so I would suggest you go through the videos two to three times if uh, in a, uh, I can say uh, once you are watching as of now then after a week and after then after further a week you should attend the session right so this way you'll be able to learn the things in good manner and you'll be able to remember them okay so let's begin the session um, I have mentioned the important points over here uh, the first is matter is a uh, matter in the universe is made up of elements and elements are made up of simple basic unit that is atom right element are made up of simple basic unit. see atom is the most simple uh, unit you can say right and in atom we have charged particles like electrons protons and neutral particles neutrons over here protons are positively charged electrons are negatively charged and neutrons are they don't have any charge right and so atom is composed of protons neutrons and electrons so proton and electrons they are equal in number uh, so they mutually balance their charges See, suppose there are three protons and there are three electrons in the atom so they balance their charges right so in all atom has no charge right that's really important atom has no charge this sort of question can be asked in competitive exams like uh, atom is negative positive or it has no charge so atom has no charge right they have equal number of protons and electrons protons are positively charged electrons are negatively charged so they balance their charges right equal number of protons and electrons are there so the charge is balanced so finally atom has no charge uh, here I have uh, given the idea of size of atom nucleus proton electron and uh, as I have already discussed, atom is made up of three particles, electron, protons and neutrons. Electrons have negative char charge, protons have positive, whereas neutrons have no charge and they are neutral. Due to the presence of equal number of negative electrons and positive protons, the atom on the whole is electrically neutral. The protons and neutrons are located in a small nucleus at the center of the atom, right? Here you can see this is the atom and this is center of the atom and in the center of the atom uh, protons and neutrons are there, right? Now since proton is having positively charged, that means we can say nucleus is actually positively charged, right? Neutron, they don't have any charge but in nucleus we have protons and neutrons both as well and if proton since proton has positively charged finally nucleus has positive charge right so atom has no charge but nucleus is positively charged right so you should be very much clear about it if you are asked about the charge in nucleus then it will be positive but charge on atom it is neutral neutral okay so the protons and neutrons are located in small nucleus at the center of the atom and due to the presence of protons nucleus is positively charged the electrons uh, revolve rapidly around the nucleus in a fixed circular path called energy level or shells right we can call them as klmno or we can denote them by numbers 1 2 3 4 5 right the energy level are counted from center to outwards k l m and so on right okay a uh, number of protons in one atom of an ele uh, element is known as the atomic number. So what is the definition of atomic number? Atomic number is nothing but the number of protons in the atom, right? Now number of protons in an atom are equal to number of electrons, right? So you can uh, say atomic number is either number of protons or number of electrons, same thing. 
Okay, so uh, this can be a question. Uh, the definition of atomic number that is nothing but the number of protons or number of electrons, right? Now all the atoms of an element have the same atomic number. It is generally denoted by letter Z and written at the bottom of symbol of that element. I'll just show you the representation of the same. So I hope you are clear with the definition of atom. You are clear with the definition of nucleus, proton, neutron, electron, atomic number. Okay. Nucleus of an atom is composed of protons and neutrons which are collectively called as nucleons. So what is the definition of nucleons? That is nothing but protons and neutrons, right? This is nucleus and nucleus consists, uh, it contains proton as well as neutrons, right? Now, uh, atomic number as I've already told you that is nothing but the number of protons in the atom, right? Suppose uh, atomic number of sodium is 11, right? Sodium is 11, sodium is an element, it uh, has atomic number as 11, that means there are 11 protons in the nucleus of sodium atom, that means there are 11 electrons in the sodium uh, atom, right? So, similarly if we talk about atomic number of carbon is 6, that means there are 6 uh, protons in the nucleus of the carbon. Similarly, the atomic number of hydrogen is 1, that means there is one proton in the nucleus of hydrogen atom. Okay? All the atoms of same element have the same number of protons in their nuclei. Hence, they have the same atomic number. Okay? Now, an atom is electrically neutral. The number of protons is an uh, atom is equal to number of electrons that we have already discussed. Then, Atomic number, we have already discussed number of protons and that is equal to number of electrons. Next important term is mass number, right? What is the difference between atomic number and mass number? Atomic number is just number of protons, but mass number is number of protons plus number of inner neutrons. In short, uh, whatever the number of protons and neutrons is there in the nucleus of the atom, that is actually mass number. So mass number is atomic number plus number of neutrons. So mass number of sodium is 23, suppose, and we have already discussed over here that uh, atomic number is 11, right? So mass number is 23, atomic number is 11, that means protons are 11 and protons plus neutrons are 23, protons are 11, that means neutrons are 12, right? So simply we can say the num uh, this, uh, number of neutrons in sodium atom is 12, number of protons are 11. Okay, similarly mass number of carbon is 12 and uh, in carbon we have 6 protons, so neutrons will also be 6, right? 6 protons plus 6 neutrons, that is the mass number. Okay, the mass number of hydrogen is 1 um, because there is 1 proton, that means there is no neutron in hydrogen atom. Okay, and how do we represent symbol of an element? Suppose I write is Na over here, mass number will be written over here and atomic number will be written over here, right? So 23 is actually a number of protons plus neutrons and 11 is number of protons in sodium atom, okay? So this is how we represent a um, atomic number, mass number and symbol of an element, okay? So I hope all, all these definitions and terms are clear in your mind. I have taken few examples over here, aluminum atom, magnesium atom, sodium atom. Over here this is nucleus. These are electrons, so you can easily count how many electrons are there. So in aluminum we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 8, and uh, 10 and 3, 13. In all, there are 13 electrons. That means there are 13 protons. Okay? Similarly, magnesium atom, uh, 4 and 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 protons, 12 electrons. Here we have sodium atom. So here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 protons, 11 electrons. Right? This is nucleus and these are the electrons, uh, they are uh, moving around the nucleus, right? So, 
I hope you are clear. In the next video, we'll discuss uh, ions. That is positive ion and negative ions, cations and anions. And what is the difference between the three terms? That is atom, anion, and cation. Okay. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the session. I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye bye.